Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf and to this Windows command prompt course. And in this video we are going to learn another command. But before we open a command line, again I want to show you something. As you can see here is the folder which we created in previous video. If we click into this new folder, you can see that this is empty folder. But if we click on this my folder, if we click into it, you will see that we have created there a new folder and we have created there my file in also previous previous tutorials if you are following this course from the very beginning. And in this tutorial I would want to show you how you can delete any folders on your computer. And to do that first let's open a CMD or command prompt. You can type in in search command prompt and click on the icon or you can type in CMD and hit enter. And now we are by default in our users directory. As you see we are in users directory and we are in our users directory which in my case case is called Marty. And who are watching this you already know it and you know where to locate this on your file system on your Windows computer. But now let's get into our desktop and to do that let's use the command cd or change directory space and let's type in desktop and hit enter. And now we are in desktop. And to make sure that we are in desktop let's type in command dir to list all folders and we can see here all these folders which we have on our desktop. We have new folder, my folder and images. This is also here images, my folder and new folder. But let's say that there is a scenario and you would like to delete some folders on your computer. And here comes another command which allows you to do exactly that and this command is rmdir. So for example if we would want to now delete this folder which is new folder or we for example could create a new folder by using a command which we learned in previous video which is md or make directory let's create a new folder let's add a space let's type in some folder name so i will type in test folder and hit enter and now as you can see we have also another folder which is called test folder but if we would want to delete this test folder we can use the command rm dir and to use this command to delete only empty folders. I will show you how you can delete full folders with folders and files as well. But to delete only empty folders we use command rmdir then space and then we need to specify a folder's name. We will delete test folder as this is the name of this folder which we just created and hit enter. And as you see this folder has now been deleted. But if we will for example now try to delete the folder with my folder as you can see this one where we have if we click into it where we have folder and where we have file located within it. I will use the command cls to clean the screen so you can see everything what is happening on this command prompt window and if I will type a command rmdir and space and my folder because I am intending now or trying to delete this folder from my computer and I will hit enter you will see that this is telling us the directory is not empty. So by using a command rmdir you can delete only empty folders but if those folders will not be empty you will not be able to delete them. So to delete the folders which has also files and folders within them we need to use such a thing as attributes because there are also attributes which are available on different commands which you can use within your command line. And for example for some particular command if you would like to see an attribute you can type in the command name in our scenario this is rmdir and space and then forward slash and question mark and hit enter. And rmdir or command name and forward slash and question mark gives you all other options which you can use with that particular command. And here you can see that we can use attribute forward slash s that allows us to remove all directories and files in the specified directory. So pretty much if we will be using forward slash s after our rmdir and then specifying this folder's name which is my folder this will delete this folder with all files and with all directories within this folder. So let's do it. Let's type in a command rmdir then space forward slash and s space and now let's specify this folder's name which we want to delete. So this folder is not empty. 
this is my folder and hit enter and in this scenario you will see that this will prompt us my folder are you sure yes or no this is prompting us are we sure that we want to delete this folder because this folder has some files and folders within this folder we specify y for yes and hit enter and as you see now this folder my folder has been deleted from our computer and there is also a quiet mode which is forward slash q this is quiet mode Mode, do not ask if ok to remove our directory or tree with s. This means that if we would be using forward slash s and then forward slash q, this would allow us to delete a folder which has files and folders within it without prompting us do we want to delete it. So let's try it and let's enter this folder, new folder which we have here on our desktop. So to enter it, let's do use a cd or change directory command and let's enter a folder new folder and hit enter and as you can see now we are in new folder let's open it up we are in this particular new folder which is user smarty desktop and new folder so we are located within it as we are in user smarty desktop and new folder so in this new folder let's create a directory so to create a directory from previous tutorial you remember that we use a command md or make a directory space and then we type a folder name i will call this folder simply a folder and hit enter and this will allow us as you can see create a new folder within this new folder but now if i will use a command rmdir and will specify this folder's name folder and will try to remove it you will see that this will remove this folder because that folder is absolutely empty so let's recreate this folder and to recreate the folder there is another thing what we will learn in this tutorial is if you would want to return to the previous commands which you have been been executing within particular session you can use on your keyboard up arrows and down arrows as you see now I'm hitting up arrow and I am returning to my previous commands which I have been executing so for example if I would want to return to command and make a directory md test folder so I will create again test folder I hit up arrow or down arrow on my keyboard until I return to that command and then I hit enter and and this will create a test folder within this directory but now if i would want to delete this new folder which is located on our desktop i will type in cls to clear the command line screen and i will navigate one folder back by typing in cd or change directory and two dots as you remember from previous tutorials by typing cd and two dots this will navigate one directory back we have navigated from desktop new folder back out to our desktop Desktop. And now if I would want to delete this new folder which is located on our desktop, we can do so by typing in rmdir space forward slash and s that specifies that we want to delete entire tree within this particular directory and then another space and forward slash and q. This means that we want to delete it in quiet mode. This means that we don't want to receive any prompts whether we want to delete or not because we are absolutely sure that we want to delete this directory with all its folders which are located in it and with all its files and space and folder name which we want to delete so in our scenario as you see on our desktop the folders name is new folder so let's type in a new folder and hit enter and as you see this folder now from our desktop has been deleted and it didn't prompt us and this command rmdir with forward slash s with forward slash q and folder's name it didn't prompt us whether we want to delete this folder or not and yes this is how you can use rmdir command so if you use only rmdir command you can remove only folder if it is empty if you specify it with forward slash s this means that you want to delete delete that folder with all its subdirectories and all files and all contents what is within that folder and if you don't want to be prompted then forward slash q and you will not be prompted whether you are sure that you want to delete this or that folder and at the end you are specifying folders name and hitting enter <music>